want to know, but you do. The first one we're going to talk about is the shittiest film I've seen in January, and that is The Loft. This film had a 0% on Rotten Tomato. Now, when I went on to back on Rotten Tomato today, just to look and see if maybe somebody was like a dick and was like, I'm just going to give this film a good view because all the movie critics, they gave it terrible views. I'm going to be the different one. I'm going to be the black sheep in the family. And it went up to about 5%. And mind you, I, 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 I can look at people's opinions and be like, hey, you know, it's your own opinion. Hey, go, go at it. But when you make a review and it feels like a little bit forced and makes you think, that this person just liking this video just to go against the grain and be having people click on his being like, why did you like it so much? Kind of like how I did. And that is so shitty. Now, the moral of this film is that five guys, they decide we need our own sex pad. We need a pad that we can go take our girls and our mistresses, actually, and just go and bang the shit out of them and then just leave them. And we just go back to our family. and No one will know. There's no bills. There's nothing for our girls to find. And also these five assholes by this loft and one of them comes in and they find a dead body in the bed. Now it's a who did it with the group and seeing who killed this girl. It's all so fucking stupid. I mean, you just want to pull your hair out when you're watching this film. You're like, why are you doing this? Why, what, what made you, what? No, stop with the stupid fucking dialogue. This script. Oh, fucking a the script i just want to go and slap the guy around and be like why do you write like a third grader people don't do this this doesn't make any sense you make the guys in this film seem like such assholes like there's nothing in there you can relate to and then you see the fucking women in this film they are so degrading they like the guy who wrote this is like all women have their mistress or their mans who are just cheaters and they may hate it but they're just sick and tired but they can't leave no they can't and if they do leave they're gonna go fuck the guy's best friend and it's so fucking stupid all the people in this film are so stupid and just that you hate them you literally hate them. There's nothing in here you can like. I would be interested if this has something to say, but it doesn't. This is just a terrible film. This is a film that just is so degrading. And you can look at it. If you said to yourself, this is what real life is like. All guys are pigs. And then you look at the girls and you're like, you girls are just being down women who are just going to stick with your man. But if you're going to leave, you're going to go fuck his best friend. That is so fucking stupid. No characters were likable. The writing was ridiculous. And you had these good actors in there. And you did nothing with them. I hate this film. I hate this film a lot. There was nothing redeeming about this film at all. And so I'm going to be giving The Loft an F. First F of January. First F of 2015. And that's saying a lot. Because I had to go watch Take It 3, which fucking sucked. I had to go and watch The, the Woman in Black 2, which just sucked ass. And even, oh my god, Jennifer Lopez and her that beautiful booty. Which, you know, oh god. Man, at 45 you still look fucking amazing. With The Boy Next Door. I mean, all those movies not getting an F. But you did. Congratulations. I mean, well done. So the next film that we have in this video is Project Almanac. The thing that caught my eye about this film is when it said a project or a produced film by Michael Bay. Okay, I, I do know that a lot of people on Twitter was like, okay, it's a Michael Bay film. Fuck that. No, people. Calm the fuck down. This is not a Michael Bay film. This is one where basically he just came in. They were like, hey, Michael Bay, I, I see you. You you lack money, right? So can you just um, put your, your name on here? Because I know that you make a whole bunch of box office numbers. And so he did. And it felt like he only said, I'll just, um, like when the, the machine's going, I, I think you guys should just have it twirl, things twirl around it. And that's what it felt like. That was the only thing that felt like Michael Bay to me. Now, these kids, these high school kids, and when you go look up their age on Wikipedia, you're like, holy shit, dude. Like, one of the kids in there is like 28, and one of them's like 24, and they're all playing like high school kids. But the good thing is, is that they kind of look like high school kids, to be frank. Now, these kids, they are adventures. One of them just got into MIT, or he just got a grant for MIT, but he still needs money. So... He decides to go look through his father's thing, whose father passed away like a movie cliche, and he's going through all of his 
father's projects and he finds the blueprints for what is the project almanac this time machine and so they build the fucking time machine which really people you built the time machine and what are you gonna do with it well let's go back and go and make sure that we face the test oh that's great and if you failed the test and you got like a b plus that's not good enough we have to go back and do it about three more fucking times and then we go and say let's go do the lottery and what do you do with the lottery? Well, you miss one number and you only win about $1 million. Yay, $1 million. Everybody would be happy about that. Not these kids. They have to go and they take the money and they say to each other, well, why don't we just go do it back? And the one kid's like, no, we can't do it again. I don't want to win the lottery again. But when it comes to my fucking test I just took, I'll do that again. Hell yeah, I will. And so you have a teenager version of a time machine film. It's not all that great. But what is, is that I like that we saw new char- or new actors in this film. We didn't see the same old um, ch- uh, child actors. And it was kind of refreshing. But there were points in there this film where you could definitely tell that this film was delayed for quite a while. Because I heard it was supposed to come out last year under a different name. And there's like product placement for the Xbox 360. They mentioned Looper in there. They mentioned Argo. And it was all um, things that they mentioned that were just so out of date even for today. So this film is entertaining a little bit. But it felt like that if I was a high schooler student, I would enjoy this film a lot more. But since I'm in my about 25, 26 years old, it's like I can't really relate to this film anymore. But I still had a good time. And the one thing that really does need to die about this type of genre is that we don't need any more found footage films. Because when you're looking at it, you're like, why is this really found footage, by the way? Because you can easily done it and made it look like a regular film, had a regular camera, and everything would have been a little bit better. Because there's times in this film where I just, I felt nauseous. And sometimes I don't when it comes to all these found footage films. But for the, some reason, this one, especially towards the end, I would just like, oh my god stomach hearts like what what the fuck are you doing so in the end i'm gonna give project almanac a d have you seen the film what do you guys think about it let me know down below